Hi everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here again, and today we are doing lesson 2.1 in our Florida Go Math book for grade 4. Lesson 2, or chapter 2, is all about multiplying by one digit numbers. And our first lesson here is, our goal is how can you model multiplication comparisons. When you see that word model, it means draw a picture. And so we're drawing pictures, we're going to be in this lesson drawing pictures of multiplication comparisons. So first it says, first before we even start this, we need to talk about um, the different, what the symbols in math mean. So if we're looking at this one, 15 equals 3 times 5, whenever you see an equal sign, you would translate into the word is. Okay, so here we can see it says that we can do this two different ways. We can read this as 15 is three times as many as five, or since we know in multiplication we can switch the numbers and get the same answer, that's called the commutative property, we can also s interpret this problem here as 15 is five times as many as three. So you just go backwards because we can switch these two numbers that are on the same side of the equal sign and we can still get 15. So first important thing again is to remember that that equal sign means is so that you can translate that into a sentence or if they have it written as a sentence you'll know what signs to put, what symbols to put in your multiplication sentence. So here's the first way that they model this. If they're modeling 15 is three times as many as five, they're gonna start out with their five, because we're saying as many as five, and we're doing a block that's the same size as that five down here, three times. So when we do that three times, we get the total of 15. So that's how they model 15 is 3 times as many as 5. Now if we wanted to model it the other way, 15 is 5 times as many as 3. You start with your as many as number, which is a 3. So I just write a 3 in that box. And we have to do that 3 box 5 times. So we do a box that's the same size 5 times. And we put a 3 in each of those and that will give us 15. So we show, draw this line to show that that whole thing is equal to 15. So that's the concept for lesson 2.1. So we're going to try one down here because this is what it's going to look like in your book and what you're going to have to do. It says Carly has nine pennies. Jack has four times as many pennies as Carly. So how many pennies does Jack have? So we already know. We just go the first sentence first. Carly has nine pennies. So I'm going to write nine in there. Jack has four times as many. One, two, three, four times as many pennies as Carly. So since she had nine, we're going to put nine into Jack's box boxes also. So then the final question is how many pennies does Jack have? So we have to count, add all these nines up which would be 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, or 9 times 4, which is 36. So Jack has 36 pennies. So here's how you would record that into a math sentence. It says use this model that we just did. Remember, model just means a drawing to write an equation and solve. In, that's what we do not know. When we start out, how many pennies does Jack have is what we do not know. N equals what times what? Nine, four times. So the total value of nine times four is 36. And that is how you model multiplication comparisons. I hope this has helped you, and if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave me a comment, and I will try to get back to you. Thanks.